Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video So I'm gonna be going over this tournament that I just played It was one of the first tournaments in the offseason in North America that a bunch of the better Players and pro players played in and we were able to win the whole tournament So I'm gonna show you guys two of the matches where we face the two best teams So first up we have myself Sans and Chino versus Ducky, Rafiki Bot, and Bilal. These guys are like kind of up and coming pro players. We've been practicing versus them a lot in the last few weeks. And we faced them round one of the tournament, which kind of sucks because, you know, we would like to test ourselves against other players, but that's just how it worked out. Now, me and Sans were playing this tournament with Chino because we can use these tournaments kind of as tryouts to see what players play well with us, you know, what players are good, and just try playing with players that we don't normally play with. So we're going to put him on the gene, even though that's my normal role, because we have a tank, and I also play tank, so things are going pretty well. We have Sans on Surge. The other team has a really good comp as well. Otis and Stu are very good in this current meta, so the comps are pretty even. Good play by Sans and Gino over there to combine the gene heals to make sure that Sans didn't go down. And now we're kind of trapped in our spawn, and we just got to make our way out. So you guys can see every shot that the Stu hits or the Otis hits, they get vision on us and they try and move a little bit closer. So we're just taking our time to try and move up the map. Try and get rid of that Rosa because the Rosa should be pretty easy to get rid of. You guys can also see the Gene is trying to hit little shots so we can get vision on the opponents. So we can go up the map as well. In pro play, vision gear is really strong and really important. I take a shot over there, but you guys can see Chino's doing a great job at healing me. And Sans is able to stay alive as well. It's a really hectic game. Like, pro play is really hard. It's usually very even. And this game is no exception to that. Luckily for us, their Rosa did go a little bit too high up. So Chino was able to hit a nice pull. We get some gems in our position. Sans with a nice jump. And we are able to take home game number one in this match. Now, how these tournaments normally work is it's a best of three, best of three. So what that means is on every map, you have to win two games in order to win the map, just like you would in ranked. And then you have to win two different modes. So mode number one was gem grab. I forgot what mode number two was, to be honest. We're trying to do the same thing. They're going to change their strategy because they lost last game. And we're kind of doing the same thing where we're just playing very together. We're using the gene heals, which remember I said randoms, make sure you're using the gene heal because it's so important. And once we get good position, we're just going to move up. So I'm able to get a couple whacks over there on their Rosa. Sans is able to get a couple hits to get his super. And now we're able to get some good positioning. Now in pro play, it's really important not to get hit by basically anyone. So you're not exposed and you can stay sneaky. But we're going to move up, get a hit there. We almost get the kill. We get muted. Sans gets the kill on their Rosa who kills our gem carrier. And now it's a little bit weird because I'm the Ash and I have the gems. And you don't want your aggressive brawler to have the gems because that kind of like ruins everything. Rose is going to come in and I'm pretty happy about this because I get to go down, I think. Yeah, we trade out, which is perfect. It gives Chino Gene super. It gives Chino all the gems and it allows me to go aggro again. Sans is playing Surge and he's just doing an insane job. He has his hyper and now you guys can see he's going to pinch them with the hyper. Do absolutely insane. I get muted and just tortured by that Otis. But Sans is doing a great job. Gene is doing a good job. Sans is able to get the kill. Gene is able to pull this Rosa and get the kill. So it's a 3v1 now. Their Stu is using hypercharge, trying to do some crazy stuff. But Chino hits him once, and I'm able to hit him twice to get the kills. I throw my rats onto the gems so that they're forced to pick up the gems or hit my rats. That gives me full rage. I do a ton of damage. Chino picks up the remaining gems. And we have countdown. Now they do have Stu and Otis though, which are really good for resetting. Same with Rosa. So we're just trying to stay high up. We're trying to make sure we guard our gene and we are able to get the kill and that's going to give us set number one. So now we're up one zero in sets and set number two is Brawl Ball. So what we have here is Tara, Buster, and Lou. So we basically have one aggressive brawler in Buster. We have one defensive brawler in Lou and then a playmaker that has good matchups in Tara. They have Stu and Otis again. I don't know what they like so much about Stu and Otis, but I guess they really like Stu and Otis, something about it. I'm able to get a pull, which gives me shield, and I'm going to help Chino out. He probably would have died there, but that was a really well-timed shield to have him live. And now I just got to make some room up top so he can go up and use his pull. We make a good amount of room. He gets a nice little double kill and then gets muted. 
but all he has to do is walk in a straight line, body block some shots, and I'm able to walk it in the net. Again, everyone is playing off vision here. So if you get hit one time, like you guys see, Rafiki gets hit on the primo and he's screwed. Like he's just going to die no matter what. You have to be really sneaky in pro play because pros can hit a lot of shots. Pros play together and it's just pretty difficult to get hit when everyone can see you and still stay alive. So now we have really good possession of just control of the map. Chino does go down, which is not the greatest play by him. But then Sans puts a loose super, which slides the primo up. And I have a free shot at the net. Easy win. So now going into game two, we kind of understand exactly what we have to do. Just don't get snuck on. Let's get our Lou and Tara supers, and then we move up. So I'm just checking the lanes. I'm making sure nobody can come and sneak on us. I'm able to get a couple hits, which is going to send their primo away. Chino is able to get his pull, and everyone is low on their team. Like, they're doing a really bad job at holding control. We're able to kill that stew for free, basically, and we can just walk that one in the net. Free goal, 30 seconds in, and now we have a Tara super, a Lu super, and a Buster super. So all I'm going to do is walk in a straight line. I'm going to make sure nobody can hit us, and I'm going to shield us up. Actually, I lied. I guess Chino is going to get a pull first, and then I'm going to shield us up. I do actually remember this part. I didn't want to use my pull there on that stew, but he was going to unfreeze and then kill me. And Sans is another super, but I don't think we use it in the best possible way. Plus, Chino's not really doing that much on Tara. Like, Tara is a very weird brawler. It's either you get a pull for the kill or you don't have a pull and you're kind of useless. So our job is now to just not get snuck on, get our position back. But Sans does have hypercharge. I know it's lagging there, but it happens when a lot of hypercharges are popped. A lot is going down. We get a lot of kills. Again, sorry for the lag, but everyone dies. We put the ball in the net, and that is going to be match one, one versus one of the best teams in the tournament. So now we fast forward all the way to the finals where we faced Elevate, which was by far North America's best team at Worlds last year. Elevate played really good, and they were a really good representation of North America. I do want to note, though, that Zeus isn't playing. I don't know why. I guess he was busy. And instead, their coach, who was a former teammate of theirs, Killer, is going to play instead. So, again, we have the Gene because Gene is just a really good brawler that's really good at scouting. We matched it up with Sandy and Nita. I don't really like our comp, to be honest. I think Sandy and Nita do more or less the same thing. Obviously, they have different supers and whatever, but they're both mid-range brawlers. Both have the same weaknesses, both have the same strength. So I didn't really love this draft. And then they have Gale, Buster, and Amber. You see a lot of Buster in pro play because Buster is just a really well-rounded brawler. The Amber is doing an amazing job. Like, none of us can do anything about that Amber over there on the right side because he just has way more range than all of us. Luckily, Sans does get a super, though. He's able to pick up a kill over there on Killer. And then using that kill, we can kind of move up the map. You guys can see Sans gets another kill, another super, and then I get into that right bush. It's really important that you have control of their bush because that's kind of what determines if you're going to keep them spawn trapped or if they're going to keep you spawn trapped. I get a kill based off of Sans' positioning and then I get a big bear and we kind of have them trapped now. So now Sans and me are just going to pinch them out, trying to do as much work as possible. It's really important that we don't die though and Sans is doing a great job at making sure that he stays alive. Because if we die, they're just going to get supers, they're going to have control and we're cooked. But Sans gets a hypercharge. So that's going to allow us to just run them down. Sans gets a kill. I get a kill. Chino hits a pull. And that is going to be enough for us to win game number one. So even though they held really good control for majority of that game, Sans did an amazing job at eventually getting a Sandy super. And we're able to get full control off of that one play and win the game. So now going on to game number two. And if I remember correctly, this might be the best game of the entire video. But again, obviously, it's the same thing. We got to win one more game in order to move on to the next map. And they have to win two more to beat us on this map. So again, similar strategy. We're just kind of all chilling in the same bush. We realize none of us can kill the Amber. So we're trying to play a little bit more on the Gale and Buster side and get super off of them. And they're also playing far more passive. They're doing a good job at getting their gems. We're doing a good job at getting our gems. This is a lot slower paced of a game. And I think the reasoning is they realized once I get super and once especially Sans gets super, the map and the match in general kind of flips on his head or flips on, flips on its head, sorry. And it's very beneficial for us. But when it's just poking, you guys can see none of us can do anything about that Amber. So Sans is able to get a kill over there, a little bit of a late shield by Luffy, but he probably didn't think his teammate would go down. And then we get a nice 
little sandstorm that connects all the bushes. So now we can be sneaky. Now we can try and make plays. I'm able to go up and get a couple hits, which leads to me getting a bear. I do go down, but my bear was really well placed. Sands gets a kill. RBM is one shot. And just like that, now we have control. You guys can see that's exactly why they were playing passive. Because as soon as we get those supers, we get control. Now, Sands goes a little bit aggro, and he goes down. Fortunately for us, I get a bear. Unfortunately for us, though, it doesn't matter. Good pull over there by Chino, which allows Sands to get a hypercharge. And off the hypercharge, I mean, this is just easy kills for us. We're able to get the Gale for free. And then I say, I have a hypercharge. I have a hypercharge. Nobody die. So now I control the right side. They control the middle, and we just try and see how long we can stay alive for. Now, I'm waiting for them to get a little bit closer to use my hyper, but then I do eventually end up using it. I get a nice stun over there on killer. I missed the last shot for the kill, but honestly, it really doesn't matter as long as we stay alive and stay with control. That's all that matters. You guys can see there's two gems on the map right now in the middle that we don't have picked up. That was a big super over there by killer. I go down, but luckily I go down close enough to where Sans can pick up the gem, but we do lose positioning. And at this point, it kind of feels like unless Chino hits a pole, we lose the game because they just have so much more range than us and they're far better than us on an open map, especially that Amber. But we're doing as much as we can. Chino pops his hyper to kind of just scare them a little bit. We get a gem, but again, they have full control. Killer goes a little bit too close. I'm able to get a couple hits, but because Killer goes too close, we get that kill. And now they have 12, so we just need one more gem spawn, or they, sorry, just need one more gem spawn. But Sans, for whatever reason, still has a stun. He's able to hit that stun, which allows us to get that gem. Really good play by Sans. I get a bear off of that. Chino gets positioning, and he gets the gems that we need. Now we just need one more gem. Neither Sans or Chino went for it there, which I don't think was a great play. I also don't think that was a very good pull over there by Chino. It could have lost us the game 100%. But we got lucky. We're able to kill everyone. And I just have a hyper bear running around the map. That's able to get some kills for us. So we have a hyper bear on the map. Sans is a hypercharged Sandy super. So as soon as we saw the hypercharged Sandy super, you kind of know it's over. We're able to get some kills. And they are not able to win this game. And that is going to be the first set over to our team in the finals. Now, Sans' main brawler is Sandy. And in two of the sets you guys saw already, he played Sandy. And he played out of his mind in both. Now we have a different matchup. We don't have Sandy. We have Frank, Max, and Nita versus Griff, Byron, and Stu. So they don't have that much damage. So I'm able to get a kill and instantly just walk up the map. I'm able to create enough space for Chino on the max to just kind of walk up, score the goal, and we take a really early one to nothing lead. And their Griff is trying to break as much as they can. Their goal is just to break the map so the Stu, the Griff, and the Byron can put in good work. But to be honest, I just don't think they have a good enough comp Sans does waste his bear. It's kind of difficult to not waste your bears because it's just like habit, I guess. We're able to get a kill, so I get my Frank hypercharge, and then we also get a speed on top of that. So as of now, we just kind of got to make space for me, I guess, so I can get a super off. I pop my hypercharge. I obviously use it, break the map, get the goal, and now we're just one game away from winning the entire tournament. And going into game two, we kind of have the same strategy where... We're just going to try and win lanes as fast as we can before they break open the map. The only difference is Sans went through the middle last game, and this time we're sending him through the right. RBM goes on my lane on Stu, which is probably a good call for them. I go down, but I'm able to get the kill. Sans goes down, but he's also able to get a kill, which is really good starts, I think, for me and him. And then Chino hits a very nice clip. It looks like he wanted to go score a goal up there, but he thought better of it, and he gets his max speed instead. We get super, and now we push out. So really, all I need to get is a super... Sans gets his bear and unfortunately gets melted immediately, but he's able to get a kill anyways. And I'm just trying to get some HP so I can walk towards the net and super. Unfortunately, I don't have enough HP to do that, but we are able to get a kill. I use my super. Chino puts it in the net. Really nice goal. And now me and Sans both have hyper charges and a lot of HP. So we're just like, all right, go, go, go. Don't waste any time. I walk up, hit a pull. Sans uses Hyper Bear, and just like that, we are able to quickly beat these guys and take the tournament win. Now, that's going to be it for today's tournament, and we were able to take home the win, which is very, very nice, and it feels good after... Oh my god, I'm not joining. After a year of not-so-great play, and I feel like we're just getting started into the next year. Now, I just want to say this does not confirm that Chino is going to be our third teammate. This is kind of just tryouts and a place where we can practice with new players. 
but that was a really good experience and I thought it went really well. So that's going to be it for the tournament and for this video. If you guys liked this type of style where I show you guys pro tournaments, let me know in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe as always. And until next time, I'll see you guys then.